are very late. Oh, good. I'll go introduce myself. Make sure we're not disturbed. Yo ho, it's a pirate life for me. Good morning, darling. Slept well. Ah, ah, ah. Be careful, darling. The more you struggle, the more those ropes tighten around those lovely wrists of yours. <clears throat> I've got a lot of questions for you. But with that gag in your mouth, I know it'll be hard for you to speak to me. But after you knocking out ten of my men, alone with just your voice, i rather not risk it. So, just nod or shake your head for me. That way, we can get to know each other a little bit better. So let's get the obvious question out of the way first. When we first captured you, you had a tail. But later on, it turned to a pair of legs when I was tying you up. You're a siren, aren't you? Nod or shake your head, darling. You know I could have killed you. Or sell you off to the highest bidder. And me and my crew would be set for life. But I decided against it. Don't make me reconsider it, darling. I'm not the patient type. So let's try this again. Are you a siren? Hmm. I thought so. I know sirens and merfolk are similar, but only sirens have alluring voices that can make people do very uncharacteristic actions or just fall asleep just like that. But sirens are normally not this far out here where ships constantly pass because they would be easily captured by greedy pirates. Ain't that right, Don? Yeah, I know that's right. So were you out here because you wanted to see a human? Hmm. No. Did you get lost? No. Hmm. Are you looking for something? Ah, a beautiful siren looking for something. How interesting. It must be really important for you to risk getting captured. I guess you're a powerful creature, so you could easily get away by knocking out anyone that comes close to you. But thank Poseidon that my cook is deaf. Huh, darling? Hmm. <laughs> I hope the blow to your head didn't hurt that bad, darling. But we did need a way to silence you. But on his behalf, I do apologize for that. And now you're tied and gag in front of me. You do look really breathtaking like this, I should say. <laughs> but since you've been good and answering my questions... I will answer some that might be going through that pretty head of yours. First, I apologize. I should have introduced myself sooner. My name is Nernia. I'm one of the pirate lords through the Seven Seas. Oh my, those beautiful eyes just widen. <laughs> don't worry, darling. I won't hurt you. As long as you don't give me a reason, that is. You also might be wondering why I didn't turn you into those annoying navy generals or sell you off on the market. And that's because, one, 
I always wanted to meet a siren, and the tales are true. Sirens are very attractive, with the most charming voices. Sadly, I heard it for a moment before I started getting dizzy. But I don't blame you. You got caught in our net. It is understandable that you were scared of what might happen if you got captured by humans. Especially by low-life pirates. But darling, we aren't low-life pirates. My crew is better than that. Second, there has been a priceless jewel that I've been looking for for years. And apparently, only a siren can find the location of the jewel. I can see that you're confused, but let me explain. <sighs> I said I don't want to be disturbed. <sighs> what terrible timing. Give me one moment, darling. <laughs> I'll be right back. Ah, General, what do I owe the pleasure of you gracing me with your presence? Oh, that's odd. No, me and my men haven't seen any strange creatures swimming about in these waters. What exactly does this creature look like? A human? Interesting. I don't think it would be possible for a human to be swimming around, especially in these shark-infested waters. Are you sure those people haven't been drinking too much rum? True, since four different ship captains said the same thing, I guess something is lurking about. Yes, of course. If I see anything, I shall report back to you, General. Hmm. You as well. Lucio set a course to the west. I want to get away from that bottom feeder as fast as possible. Sorry about that, darling. Oh, you look confused. Well, since someone hasn't been discreet, I don't know what you're looking for, but could you at least not let the whole Navy and every other ship know that you are here? But no need to worry. I'll protect you. Because after all, I need your help. And from the looks of it, you need mines as well since people are looking for the strange human who's swimming about. And trust me, if you get caught again, you will never return back to the sea. And we don't want that. Now do we? Hmm, didn't think so. Now listen here, darling. I want to help you if you help me. I promise that I won't harm you won't turn you in, and will do everything in my power to help you find whatever you're looking for. As a pirate lord, I don't go back on my word. Okay, darling? Now, I'm going to take this gag out of your pretty mouth, and if you try anything, I will stuff the gag back in your mouth and send you below the deck until you're ready to behave. Okay? That's a good sweetheart. There we go. Oh, sorry, darling. The ropes stay on a little bit longer. When I trust you a bit more, then I'll untie you. Oh, the general? <laughs> Don't be mistaken, darling. The general thinks we are partners because I help him and the crown do their dirty work. I could care less about him, and can easily send him to Davy Jones' locker without a second thought. 
Anyways, let's get back to business. What exactly are you looking for? A shell. You're risking your life for a shell. Oh, a magic shell. Of course, it's a magical shell. Why wouldn't it be? Go on. If this shell was so important, why would you and your siblings be playing with it and just leave it out on the shore where humans can just pick it up? Which apparently someone did. Huh. Pardon me for the very insensitive question, but couldn't you just get another magical shell? Again, if this shell was a sign of peace between your kingdom and another kingdom, which is interesting all on its own, why were you playing with it? Wait, are you royalty? Ah, uh, that makes sense. Because if this shell was that important, no normal siren would be able to access it. Figures. So why do one of the royals have to find the shell? Don't you have guards or something like that to do that for you? Hmm, how noble of you. True, you're the one who lost it. It's only fair that you're the one to bring it back. I have high respects for that. All right, your highness. I shall help you look for the shell. And in return, you will help me find the jewel I seek. Well, it was a family heirloom, according to my father. But some other pirate lord took it from us and hid it away so we could never find it. Apparently, a siren helped them hit it. Don't know why, and I don't care. I just want it back. Since a siren hit it, maybe a siren can help me find it. But let's try to find this shell of yours first. Okay, darling? We are heading west, where I know people who might know something about your shell. If a human picked up the shell and it looked like it would sell for a good amount of coin, someone would know about it. Hmm. Anyways, enough of that. You need to get some rest. You had a long day, and your swimming about probably exhaust you. So let me just untie your legs. <sighs> there you go. And you go sleep in my bed. What? I have to keep an eye on you, darling. And that means keeping you in my chambers where no one will try to harm you. And you won't. Escape. I know you said you wouldn't, but I have some minor trust issues. So be good for me and stay in my chambers and rest. I'll bring you some food later. And darling, it will be a pleasure working with you. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Hmm. Correct, Lucille. Things are going to be very interesting indeed. Make sure the presence of our sweet guests doesn't leave this ship. I don't want anyone to know that we have them here. Are we clear? <laughs> Good.